21 Days of Beauty. I don't know if you've seen that vlog. Probably should have. Uh, if it is up, I will link it somewhere here. Um, anyways, I got the Lime Crime Venus uh, palette. I got this one here. And I thought we would play around with some of these colors. Um, I don't know exactly what I want to do right now. I do have an appointment I have to go to. So uh, I just thought, you know what? It would be fun just to come on here and do something. Um, I like that sage green. It's a, a nice gray green. See, I might have to pull from another palette, though. Yeah, I might. Let me pull out another palette. Lately, I've been really pulling the quartz palette from, of quartz from ColourPop. Uh, this is the one I've been going to all the time. And look at that. It, all these colors match the shirt, a lot of grays, topies. Uh, but I want to see if I can pull something from here, but I don't know now. I might just use this. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, let's work with this for a little bit and uh, see where we go from here. Um, this is a brush that I bought at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's from Moda, I believe. Yeah, I think it's from Moda. Okay, I had to get my glasses on, guys. BMX 430 Crease. And it, yeah, it is from Moda. Moda Pro. Uh, and it has the texture right here, the gripping. Uh, yeah, so it is uh, BMX 430 Crease. I've been loving this brush. And every time I go to TJ Maxx and things like that, I really try to see if I can find another one. Uh, one more. Just one more would be nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go into... I've used, like I said, this palette. I can't put it down. I'm going to use that to lightly just put on the, the brow bone. Just below the brow bone area. Okay. So let me talk about my setting here real quick. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I like it here. Um, <laughs> I purposely picked this spot because there's a window right here. And I wanted the natural lighting. Okay, oops. Natural lighting. Which is great for me when I'm not filming. So I open it up and I get all the natural lighting. However, when I film, there are a couple things that are happening that I've noticed. I get, because the sun hits here all, all, pretty much all day, well, for the most part while I'm filming, the shades, they have these little grooves where the threading goes in, the mini glands, and I feel I, I either get it marked on my face or on my chest. I've seen it. <laughs> so that's one thing, which is not a really big deal. I mean, not really, I guess. The other thing is that I feel like it throws the color off because I have that and the ring light. And I think that it's just throwing off the color. So I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to stay here. Um, the TV behind me that you see behind me was purposely placed there because I made the decision to stay here. <laughs> Otherwise, the TV was going to go somewhere else. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not necessarily liking this spot for filming. So I don't know. I I'm, I'm, I'm need to really fool around with the lighting. It, it's not bad lighting. It's, it's not. It's, it's not at all. It's something I can work with. By the way, that color that I put on here was from Lime Crime. Uh, it was the In Bloom. In Bloom. I'm going to take my Makeup Geek brush. I'm going to go back into um, Quartz. And I want to... Which one should I go into? Well, I've been... Hmm, this one or this one? Um, let's go with this one here. This morning I woke up to, um, actually my husband, two o'clock in the morning my husband was hearing my phone go off, like uh, my eBay. So when I sell something, my phone does this sort of thing. Um, and he, 
when he heard that and his phone because they're connected he has e my eBay on his phone as well um, because when I um, was in the hospital and all that good stuff he in 2020 um, he took care of my eBay for me so he has a phone was vibrating because he had his on off and um, he thought, oh, wow, she's selling. He went like cha-ching, and then a little bit later went cha-ching, and then, you know, she, he's like, wow, she's selling. And so he went to go look, and it was those, I don't know if the video's up, but I purchased all those Catherine's plus-size dresses, and I put them up, and that's what was being sold. Great. Three of them. Great, right? No, there's there's a problem. There's a problem. The problem was they sold for a dollar. A dollar. So my husband was gonna wake me up. This was like two in the morning. But he said no. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna go see what's going on uh, with this. Yeah, my account got hacked. So what he did was he canceled the orders and then he this in the morning he got up early now oops sorry guys um let's see what else do i want to do here let me put a little bit more of that get the right ones um he called in the morning he called we have concierge service from ebay because we went to ebay open which basically means is you're going to get somebody right away to help you like right away you don't really have to any time to wait or anything like that uh, it's like it's like a group of people that do concierge anyways um, which is good you know and he knew he knew because we had that that he would be able to take care of it or he was going to take care of it before he went to work is what I'm saying um, he knew I, ha I have an appointment so he just really wanted to get that taken care of. And he did for me. He did. Um, yeah, eBay saw that I got hacked. So I had to change my password and all that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I was like, he was. He said he saw the dollar. At first he thought, did Laura make a mistake when she listed it? But it's like, one, okay, you make a mistake. Maybe forgot the number. But three, at a dollar you know so yeah okay i'm gonna go into this gray blue color here do i am i gonna go into lime crime ah i just gouged one of the shadows right there um classical classical i really want to use more of these colors let's just go with classical even though I think the other one would, would, would work a little bit better, but we're going to use this one. Just a little bit here on the outer corner. So all that got taken care of this morning. Just had to get a new password for my email and for my um, eBay sign-on and everything. So now I just want to decide which one I want to use for the, you know, shimmer shade. I really want to stick with this palette, this one, um, because I've used that uh, ColourPop a lot. Um, oh, there's a pink one here too. Well, that one might work. Yeah, it's kind of light though. Let me see. Oh, that might work. It worked. Um, let's try it. If not, we can wear it. I really want to do some shop my stashes. And I, when I say shop my stash, I know people do like everything, <laughs> you know, primers and things like that because they have a lot of choices. 
I do have choices, uh, but n you know, not when it comes to palette is where I, I need to um, rotate. And so that's what I'm going to do, just palette of the a week or palette every two weeks or something like that. And then do a couple get ready with me using those palettes. Or I like when I did the story time um, get ready with me, so maybe I can do that every now and again. There's a story I, I want to work on, uh, but I need to do a little bit of research. Um, oops, I went into that green one. But yeah, I want to do something like that because the spending has ceased. <laughs> has, has, well, let's not say ceased. <laughs> let's, let's, not, let's not get carried away, Laura. It has uh, definitely been uh, um, curbed, you know, it's, 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 yeah, um, enjoying when I purchase, enjoying when I have, oh, I like this color. It's very light, but I do like it. Oh, it's probably light in here. I don't know. I, I really got to work on my lighting. But back to my channel, it, yeah, I just, I want to be able to... Um, do things like that. Just um, shop my shadows. That's 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 a good name. Shop my shadows, um, and um, do a couple looks. You know, maybe keep the palette, a couple palettes, for two weeks. Do some get ready with me, including some story times in there. Maybe some palette bingos again with those shadows, uh, with those palettes, and just uh, do that. Just um, because I really enjoy. All of it, you know. I, I enjoy it all. The get ready with me part of it, the story time, the palettes. <laughs> all right. I wanted to say that my skin. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on video, but I've been doing a, 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 a halogenist uh, retinol cream. I've been using that um, about twice a week and my skin oh and then I've been using the toner from Allure remember I showed that toner and I said I don't really use toners but anyway my point is what I'm trying to say is that my skin is uh, dry kind of but that's normal with the retinol it's like getting rid of that top layer my um, crease here that I always talk about is not as deep it's there but it's just not as deep <laughs> So, yeah, I've been really, I like it. I see my skin like without makeup, like in the light, and it just, it feels good. It looks good. It looks better. Yeah, it looks better. I like it. All right, for my brow bone highlight, I've been looking here. There's, this one here is called Stella. Stella here. That's really pretty. Um, and then there's um, Radiant. Oh, wow, that has gray in it. Oh no, actually, it's more gold. I think we're going to go with Stella. Stella! Uh, and by the way, these Makeup Geek brushes, this one in particular, Here's another brush that I absolutely love. The Makeup Geek um, Define Crease Brush. This, oh, amazing. Especially for people with hooded eyes or deep set eyes. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. Stella, I'm here. I don't like the angle. Actually want it on this side. Just I just need to do some mirroring here for sure. 
Oh, I might have went a little too low on that one. A little too low. So what I'll do is I'll go back into ColourPop and grab some of the, uh, what is this called? Sio? S-I-O. Sio? Okay, and just put a little bit of that back there. Like that, and that's fine. And then I'll put a little bit now of that Stella color. Well, people, I've hauled this mascara for you guys. And one of the things that I've been doing is, because I love the mascara, the mascara is good. It's just my sh my my um, lashes are just a little bit, um, it doesn't quite pull them up. Like, <laughs> take them to where I like them. So what I do is I put the rocket on top. And I, this is my favorite, but I've said time and time again that to take this off is, is very difficult. It's not waterproof, but it sure acts like it. So what I've been doing is I've been actually um, doing this first because I love the brush. I absolutely love the brush. I love the formula. It's not thick. It's not clumping. So when I put the rocket on top, it... it um, sort of completes it, if you will. So there's that. Um, and it doesn't flake during the day. The formula is really, 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 really nice. And then I'll get the rocket. <laughs> and they'll, they'll launch these lashes. Oh, that was so cheesy, Laura. <laughs> that was so cheesy. Oh, I went there. Let me show you what it is going to do, what this one does for me. Let me show you. So there, there's the rocket. Who would I, be? I could see it on the camera. This pulls my lashes so nicely that sometimes it'll take the longest lash and literally it's like sometimes it's like way up here. Okay, there it is, there it is. I ended up liking the eye look after all, guys. Oh, I have these little pieces of hair that just get in the way. I ended up liking this look. Here, I'll get closer. that's a good combination this way I'm not putting so much of the rocket foundation or I would say foundation a rocket mascara on so heavy so it makes it a little bit easier for me to remove it at night and as far as my palette this palette here I I, I can't wait to get more into this one for sure there's a lot of colors here that I see that I really want to dive into especially this one. This popped out on me when I saw it. I'll give you a quick swatch because I'm going to need to go. Um, obscure. Obscure. Look at that. Uh, I know for sure. I think. I, I, don't, I don't have this in my collection. I don't. It's a very, very nice. Oh my gosh. We've got to get into that one. So um, that might be my next get ready with me. I know I have to do a get ready with me using the ColourPop Sapphire one because I had asked prior to moving here when I showed the ColourPop haul, I asked which one would you guys like to see first from that haul. So I do want to do that next is the Sapphire one and get that out for you guys. I didn't forget. <laughs> I didn't forget. All right, guys, I will let you go. Look forward. I look forward to those videos and I will see you.